I received a nice little package from Saddleman today, which included this step up seat, drink cup, and a t shirt. So, thank you very much, Saddleman, for sending that out to me. I really appreciate it. Now, uh, the guys from Saddleman Buster in particular saw my review on the Saddleman Renegade solo seat and uh, upon seeing that review asked if I'd like to try the step up seat. Now this is a seat I've wanted to try for a long time so uh, yeah this is just I'm so grateful to Saddleman for sending me this seat. Now they've sent it to me for the purpose of a, a review which I will do but I just thought I'll show you what um, what I've got and I'll, I'll put it on the bike so you can see how it looks. I really want to test this seat out to see how it compares to the Renegade Solo seat. I want to see where it positions me on the bike. I am concerned it might sit me a little forward. That could be a good thing, could be a bad thing, but we'll see what happens there. And I also want to see, you know, just how effective this step up is going to be to give me support. I think it's going to be obviously going to be a lot better than the Renegade Solo seat for lumbar support. And that could be a really nice feature, so we'll, we'll test it out. And then we'll see also see how this seat goes uh, for comfort on a longer trip as well. So yeah, thanks again, Settleman. I really appreciate you supporting my channel and uh, sending, me, sending me this seat to review. When I was buying my Renegade Solo seat, I was tossing up between this and the Renegade Solo. The Renegade Solo is, is effectively half price what this seat is. I have no regrets with the Renegade Solo and if you're looking for an alternative to the stock seat the Renegade Solo is yeah, a, a, a superior option for sure in my opinion. But can this seat top the Renegade Solo? That's the question. Let's go out, fit it on the bike and see how it looks. Okay now fitting the seat's pretty straightforward. Just got a simple instruction on the back here which says Remove, rotate, reattach, install. A tab on the back of the seat that needs to be flipped around. And then, yeah, it's just push it in, bolt it down. What I love about the settlement seats is the build quality is just, just always so nice. And uh, value for money, I reckon, you know, these seats are great value for money. Now I'm gonna to have to take off my sissy bar bag and the rack that I made to go onto the rear guard, but this will take the place of that rack, so my sissy bar bag will sit up on top of this. So that'll be great. My only concern is uh, the length of it. When I designed my sissy bar, I wasn't factoring in a seat of this size. So uh, the question is, is, it, is this going to fit between the two uprights of my sissy bar? Okay, the first thing I've got to do is remove this uh, sissy bar bag. Sort of homemade my own little buckles and things to tie this on, but I think I'll have to come up with a clip system so I can just clip it off and on easy. Although it's not too bad getting it off at the moment. I suppose if it's a little bit harder to get off then it's going to uh, yeah, make it more of a, de a deterrent if someone's trying to steal the bag or, or is thinking of stealing the bag. It's a little bit fiddly but it's not too bad really getting it off. Not too bad. And so now here's my 3D printed rack. If you haven't seen it, that's the rack I designed and 3D printed. And it's uh, served me well, surprisingly. I like how Saddleman supply a little rubber grommet to go underneath those, these bolts and these tabs. Now I just wanted you to see this. This has taken me by surprise actually, because when I lined the two seats up, like just across here, I was fully expecting that the Renegade Solo would give me more seating area. But when you look at where the, uh, the seat sort of steps up here, it's very, very similar. Which is fantastic. Although, having said that, I do find myself at times pushing back up on, onto this seat a bit to give, me, give myself a little bit more room. Whereas I'm not going to have that option with the step up. But as for seating area, I was fully expecting this would have less seating area than the Renegade Solo. And look how this seat's holding up. I've now done about 12,000 kilometres on this seat. And I will link the Renegade Solo review video at the end of this video. So if you want to see that video, you can watch it. But it's like it's holding up beautifully. It's just, they're just so well made, these seats. Now you do get another little rubber spacer to go under the bolt. 
and the tab, which is great. Okay, I've got the tab spun around, and uh, that's not they're not metric. They're five thirty seconds uh, is the size of those hexagon bolts. Well, it's going to fit, which is great, but I might have to take off my bikes I like logo on the back of the seat too, so I can get <laughs> get it get the front tabs hooked under where they need to go. Uh, I don't have to take off the whole sissy bar. Hmm. All right, I'll whip this off and be back. Now, from memory, I used a little bit of double-sided tape on this, so I'll have to replace that. There we go. In. Cool. Yep. Good clearance on the sissy bar here. That's great. And I can feel the rubber stoppers underneath here uh, touching the guard, so that's good. How's it look? I think it's going to look cool, actually. Oh man, I'm so, uh, so excited to try this seat out. As soon as I get this buttoned up, we're going to go for a ride and see what it's like, get my first initial impressions. Actually, I'm glad that I made this a removable piece and didn't have it welded in because um, that would have been a problem. I would have had to take the sissy bar, at least loosen it right off, probably, perhaps loosen the front ones off, swing it up to get it on. Now these bolts are a little bit longer for my rack, but I'll see how much they're protruding through underneath. If not, I'll have to try and find the... Uh, Original chief ones. Yeah, I don't like that. It's sticking down uh, through the guard. It's likely to rub on the tyre. So we'll have to change that. Now I should have the original chief ones in one of these boxes somewhere. And that looks like it right there. It'll be good putting this back on because it's the uh, same size as the rest of the bolts, which is a 6mm Allen. Okay, what do you think? How does it look? I actually don't mind the look of it, you know. I thought I'd like the Renegade Solo seat better, looks-wise, but um, yeah, I don't, don't mind that at all. And just being able to just sit my bag on there is going to be good. Let's see how it looks uh, in terms of ergonomics, and this is going to be the test. No, I don't think, actually, I think it's probably going to sit me in a good position. My head's probably a bit out of shot there, but... And that, that's, um, yeah. My initial worry was that if it was going to push me forward, then I'd probably want the forward controls. But I'm still pretty comfortable there. That, that's, that's totally fine. With the step up, I was hoping that I could um, more easily run without a screen by having this uh, lumbar support. I'm not sort of having to hold myself up as much. So that's what I'm really, really, really want to see. I really want to test and see what that's going to feel like. I'm hoping it's going to, you know, uh, just make it a lot easier to ride without a screen because I, because I much prefer enjoy, because I much prefer and more enjoy riding without a screen. Now it's going to take a thousand odd k's to wear the seat in, you know, to get it to uh, where it's going to form to my body as my Renegade solo seat is, so the seat comfort's a bit early to tell. It does feel, just sitting here, it does feel a little smaller than that seat, and I think it's because I can push myself back into the wider area of that seat, whereas I'm sort of more, yeah, it's not as, doesn't feel as wide, but maybe that'll settle in, it'll It'll sort of spread out a bit with my weight when I've been riding for a bit. But yeah, so far that, that feels really good. All right, enough chit chat. Let's uh, take it out for a ride and test it.
So, um, what are my first impressions? I've just had a good ride uh, through town, out in the country, 100 k's an hour, which is 60 miles an hour, up to 70 miles an hour, 110 kilometres an hour. And what are my first impressions of the Saddleman Step Up Seat? Well, yeah, it's pretty good, actually. It's different to the Renegade Solo Seat in that uh, I can't move around as much as I could on the Renegade Solo. I can sort of shift back a little bit or move forward. It sort of really does keep you in one, it, the step up really does keep you in one position. But having said that, um, it's a good position. Interestingly, the padding on the seat feels more uh, cushy, more compliant than the Renegade Solo. And I think there may be thicker padding on this seat than the Renegade Solo. And going over bumps, I noticed it in particular, this felt more comfortable over bumps. Not that the Renegade Solo is uncomfortable, but I could feel this was just a little bit, a little bit more cushy than the uh, Renegade Solo. The step up on the back was interesting in that it's pretty firm. It feels pretty firm when you first sit back against it and you take off. But when you give it a bit, um, it's confidence inspiring. It, it, it sort of encourages you to give the bike a bit of revs because you've got all that support there and you can feel it uh, i can feel it compressing i didn't didn't think it would it doesn't feel like it's going to compress it feels pretty firm but when you do give it a good a good squeeze on the revs it does compress a fair way which was um still gave you support but it's but uh yeah it was comfortable in the way it compressed so that was really good that was a that was a surprise i wasn't expecting that in terms of uh where i'm sitting on the bike i am i do feel i am sitting a little forward or or I'm sitting in a position that I probably would be on the Renegade Solo, but I, I tend to push myself back a little bit up onto the, the race section. Uh, so, I, yeah, I am sitting a little more forward on this seat. Not a lot, but a little more forward. To the point where I'm wondering, I, I reckon with this seat, I'm, I'm still trying to work it out, I won't say, but I'm still trying to work out whether forward controls would be better with this seat or I'm still happy with the mids. It's not a clear night and day, I, I've got to put forwards on it. I think I need to do some more riding because, you know, it wasn't not, it wasn't uncomfortable. I am sitting a little bit more onto them than I would be with the Renegade Solo seat. So yeah, I'm going to have to put some more time on the bike to see whether forwards would be more comfortable. I, I do believe, I do believe with this seat, forwards would be more comfortable, but whether I need to make the change or not, I'll, I'll need some more time on the seat. Now, as for comfort, I was sort of, when I first sat on it and first took off, I thought, mm, yeah, like, my, like my Saddleman Renegade Solo seat, I'm thinking it doesn't feel like it's going to be comfortable. But after the ride out here for 20, 30 minutes, um, yeah, it it's, was the same level of comfort as when I started. So it doesn't feel like it's going to be comfortable, but the time I finish the ride, it's not uncomfortable. I haven't sort of thought, yeah, this is an uncomfortable seat. So, yeah, that's... But that's ticking the the box there because i am sitting a little bit more forward i am the seat feels a little bit narrower compared to my renegade solo seat and i noticed that when i was leaning into bends you know i, I felt like okay I'm, I'm hanging off the seat a little bit a little bit more than i would be with the renegade solo uh, so that was interesting uh, not not you know not, nothing detrimental it's just uh, an observation really yeah, as I was saying, I'm surprised at how much give this section has here because it feels pretty firm. But when you accelerate, you can really feel it sort of, you know, soaking up your uh, your momentum or your, your the inertia of your body pressing against that. And this definitely feels more cushy than the Renegade Solo. I reckon there's more gel and more padding in here, which is a good thing. That was really good. Now, in terms of riding without a screen, yeah, it's definitely easier with the step-up seat than it is with the Renegade Solo seat or the stock seat for the Chief. That extra support just allows you to sort of sit into the wind a lot easier and to the point where it's pretty, you know, it's, pre it's a bit of a breeze today and I was riding into a headwind and I thought, you know, I, I reckon, I don't know how far I could go, but I reckon I could get away without having a screen for a while with this step-up seat. It definitely makes it a lot easier to sit into the wind, uh, which is a great thing. The regular viewers I know have a small screen and I like it because it um, it's easier to sit on the bike without the wind pressure on your body but with these these uh, mini apes or these 8 inch rise mini apes from Indian I'm getting a lot of buffeting off that small screen so uh, uh, I'd much prefer riding the bike without the screen with these mini apes except for you know it's a lot more work into the wind 
with the step up seat that makes it a lot easier so that's another big plus i'll show you the gap between the sissy bar and the seat that's nice so that's sitting in there nicely that was um, not planned that was a happy accident so i'm pleased that worked out yeah um for a first impressions it's uh shaping up good so what I'll do now is I'll ride around with it for a while with the seat on and I'll just keep the the step up on and um, put a few thousand kilometres on it, get my, you know, the seat has to be worn in and, and I have to bed myself into the seat and it will shape to my body to a certain degree. So I'll get a few thousand kilometres on and um, then I'll do another review and let you know how it's going. But for now, yeah, I'm, um, I'm pretty happy, yeah. So thank you very much, Saruman. I've got your t-shirt on and uh, I'm wearing it with pride. Initial impressions, very happy. Yeah, um, surprisingly good. But the long-term riding experience will be the true test of what this seat's going to be like to live with uh, on a long-term basis. But so far, so good. Mm -hmm.